Hey, what is up, YouTube? In this video, I'm not going to be reviewing mice. I'm actually going to be talking about video game audio and why I think you should go out and get a pair of good IMs for gaming rather than open back headphones. Now, I think open back headphones are actually not not a good solution for gaming. So let me get right into it. Um, first of all, let me talk about sound design in video games. So in a game like CS or Valorant, you have very simple sound design. Uh, sounds are very easy to differentiate. They're pretty distinct. Footsteps, gunshots, you can very easily tell what sounds are. And even on a pair of cheap ass, you know, AirPods or something, you can tell exactly what a sound is in Valorant or CS. Um, so in those games, noticing sounds rather than uh, pinpointing their locations or, you know, differentiating them from other sounds becomes the, by far the most important thing. You know, in a game like Valorant, or CS, there are only so many angles that a sound can be coming from, right? And generally it's just like one or two. Um, in a game like Rainbow Six Siege, which I will, I will talk about more complex game, game designs later, but in a game like Rainbow Six Siege, a sound could be coming from a bullet hole, it could be coming from like a punch hole, it could be coming from a rotation in like the same wall. So in those games, uh, an open back headphone could be, potentially be better. But I'm going to talk about CS and Valorant in this video. Um, as my main examples for why I think IMs are better. So, you have games where noticing sounds is most important. So, what two factor? There are two big factors that contribute to noticing sound, right? You have ambient noise, right? So, if your brain is being occupied by the sounds of your keyboard and your mo your mouse, um, and those sounds are being processed in your back in the background, it's going to be harder to notice sounds coming from the game. And number two. Uh, the volume of the in-game volume is going to contribute to your ability to notice sounds. These are both pretty related. I may, I may, I'm not a psychologist. I don't really know this stuff, but um, they may be the same points. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, let me. Uh, and so, why why do open back headphones fucking suck at this, right? So, open head back headphones allow you to hear everything around you. Unless you're in a very quiet room, the ambient noise is always going to be a problem with open back headphones. And uh, the clacking of your keyboard, the clicking of your mouse, they're all going to contribute negatively to your ability to perceive sounds. And there's another thing as well. Um, when the ambient noise level is higher, you have to boost the volume of your transducer higher as well. Um, so with an open back headphone, you have, there's a way higher potential that you are listening at an unsafe volume. Um, if you live in a space that has a reasonably high ambient noise, because you have to boost the volume of your headphone in order to be able to notice sounds in game. Um, IMs get rid of that issue. They isolate, right? So you cut down on the ambient noise, therefore you can listen at a safer level, and you can even listen at a higher level compared to headphones before you reach that maximum threshold, that safe threshold for hearing. Which means that with IMs, you can actually gain an advantage over open back headphones without destroying your ears. So when it comes to noticing sounds, IMs are just hands down better than open backs, any open back in existence, right? Um, so that's that's noticing sounds. Uh, obviously, we have to talk about locating sounds, and that's when imaging, imaging comes into play, right? Um, nearly I, any every IM I've tried has pretty good imaging. I don't think I've heard an IM that actually has problematic imaging. Um, yeah, uh, I think the Moondrop SSP, which I tried, had very had weird imaging. That's the only IM I've tried that actually has had an that I've had an issue with. Um, this is the Theodo Oracle. This is a five hundred dollar pair of IMs, and these image really really well. Um, now, with that being said, are there headphones? Will headphones image better than IMs? And in my opinion, yes, a good pair of headphones will image better, like the eight HD eight hundred. The Sennheiser, the Sennheiser HD 800 will out-image any, any IM in existence, right? So if you absolutely need to pinpoint the location of enemies, the location of footsteps, the HD 800 is going to be better. However, would I choose IMs or an HD 800 any day? Like, would I choose an IM or an HD 800 for um, a game like CS or Valorant? I would choose IMs every day because just not being able to hear me click on my keyboard or click on my mouse 
and being able to actually focus on the game is way more important to me than the 5% additional imaging prowess added by the HD 100. So, um, however, if you play, I don't play games like Apex or Rainbow anymore. So if you play those games, you might consider a better open back, but um, I think for the vast majority of people, a IEM is going to be better. Um, so uh, that brings me to one last point. I want to talk about closed back headphones and why uh, I'll, I'll briefly talk about those. Um, closed back headphones are problematic. And the reason why they're problematic is that uh, I don't think there's really a single good, well-tuned closed back headphone that is available for a reasonable price. Um, in the budget in the budget region, you can get the Moondrop Aria for $79. For $300, you can get the Moondrop Lesson 2. Um, I'm not a Moondrop show, by the way, but maybe I am. Uh, and for $500, you can get the Oracle, right? Um, as far as closed backs are concerned, I can't think of a single really, really good closed back. Uh, the DT770 is tuned like shit. Um, cheap closed backs, like the Superlux 668B, are, they sound like shit. Um, and they generally don't image as well as IEMs. Uh, something, yeah, so honestly, just get yourself a pair of IEMs. You don't have to deal with the weight of headphones. They isolate. You can listen at a safe volume, and you can even boost the volume a little bit higher relative to headphones um, to give you that little bit of advantage in tax shooters. So, um, you know, this might have been a bit of a controversial video. If you disagree with me, uh, if you agree with me, if you like the video, you know, just comment, leave a subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next.